Alright guys again, it's another video to use um, Daemon Tools Lite, basically what this program has over there, it lets you mount ISO image files, basically DVDs, images of games, movies, CDs, anything without discs being a physical drive, basically what it is, is it makes a pretend DVD drive there's my main DVD drive, that's my flash drive, but obviously this one here that is Daemon Tools Virtual Drive okay to download it go to Google, I don't know where this is and then go to download.com okay and we're right in here Daemon Tools Light. It's surprisingly really easy to use, and I think I forgot to put a space in there. Oh, just search, you should find it. Okay, I think we've got it. We've got Daemon Tools Pro, which you need to pay for, as far as I know, and the extra features I don't know about. I really don't understand them anyway. More for advanced users. Right, well here's Daemon Tools. Basically what you do is you download it. Now, obviously I've already downloaded it and complete the installation. You need to restart the computer and I just... It's not possible right now. Basically what you do is you run it. It'll install. Then I'll say, pay, then I'll say paid version or free user. Go for free user obviously install it once it's installed and your computer's restart and as far as it asks you to restart your computer then you have this nice little cool little box thing over here basically it's quite simple if you want to mount, mount a game or something you click on it then you find your game see I've got rage here one two three we mount it It'll say mounting image file or amount of image. There you go. And that's how you're mounting. And obviously, it thinks there's a DVD in a drive, but there's not. So it's a virtual drive. Basically, you can just do what you normally would. It's exactly like a physical disk screen in your drive. So we'll end that. And say we've had enough of that, and we want to put another disk in. What we do is we go to unmount all drives. Say if we're going to mount again, we're going to ignore that. We'll go, we'll go to Borderlands actually, that I've been working on. Here's disc 1. And here's Borderlands, we can look into the files. And obviously all the files are here. And if we go to my computer, that's not my computer. My computer, the pretend drive is now this drive which you can boot from here and obviously auto play it and go in the files and have a little bash around and that's pretty much it there's a lot more there's a few more features you can mess around with if you want to get into the advanced user which is the other one Daemon Tools Pro but this is pretty much the one you're going to use anyway so um Thanks for watching and see you next time.